fourth year zoology major here at UCSB. Um, sorry, my voice is a little dead because I'm sick. But um, I went to Costa Rica this spring, um, spring of nine, and it was hands down one of the coolest things I ever did. Um, sorry. They accept lots of majors, so like EEMB, MCDB, biochemistry, creative writing, whatever you want to do. It's like a really cool place. Um, but the tropical, Monterey Tropical Biology program is kind of focused more on biology and less in terms of um, Spanish speaking and stuff. Uh, Costa Rica is green. It's beautiful. There's lots of animals and lots of crazy plants everywhere you go on this trip. And no doubt about it, you're going to be saying wow and taking pictures all the time. Um, the program's about 35, uh, about 35 students in the program, and you rarely leave each other's sides. Um, in some other programs, they focus more on you getting out there into the city, um, like by yourself and meeting locals and stuff. And like, don't get me wrong, you like, you'll meet locals and do all those kind of cool things. You have a homestay portion of the trip but you do stay together a lot. You'll be living together a lot. You'll be camping with people. You'll have like a tent mate and you'll be familiar with the way they snore and the way they smell. Um, you'll be living in a field station for another large portion of the trip. Um, and it's kind of like your dorm room, kitchen, living room, classroom, the, the whole thing. And it's in a small building. And so everything can be kind of contained at some points. But it's um, pretty neat. You get to know your friends, your professors really well. We got to we got to Costa Rica. Immediately set off on a camping trip, a two week camping trip that went to two locations. Um, we went to southern Costa Rica on our pretty much our own island that we camped on the beach. Uh, it was called Coletas, and we stayed there for a week. Um, our week there consisted of getting up at seven in the morning, going on a three hour nature hike and stopping and taking notes, um, come back for lunch, another major hike, coming back and singing songs and hanging out and doing homework. Um, uh, can you get to Costa Rica, first part of the camping trip is in a rainforest, second part of the camping trip is in a dry forest where you meet like a whole different slew of plants and animals and you get to know a different habitat um, set. And then you go back to, the, you go to the field station in Monteverde, which is where you'll be spending most of your time. It's a small farming community, and they focus on like coffee, and um, it's actually a pretty unique uh, farming community because they um, are trying to implement permaculture um, and agroecology into their community. It's basically a way of uh, sustainable farming that they're trying to get the locals into, and the locals are um, seeing a lot of bad, are reaping a lot of benefits from it. So it's a uh, model community that a lot of the world is um, looking at at the moment and um, they're very successful and they're very friendly and, uh, yeah. um, uh, and after you spend a couple weeks at the field station uh, going to class every day, classes like every day in the same room and that could get kind of tedious but you're, all, you're with your 35 friends in the same room, your professors all the time you go on um, another backpacking trip um, it's a place called Peñas Blancas, and it's a 15 kilometer hike with your backpack, and you stay out there for a week, and it's really fun. You come back, you do a homestay portion, um, in which you'll do a field research project. You get to pick um, an aspect of the program that you like, maybe, and you do a project on it. Your own research, you come up with a question, you study it, and uh, you do your own field research, and you put together a a uh, report and a presentation at the end of the program which you will present at a biology symposium and there will be some hopefully some prominent researchers there that will get to hear your work and it's actually kind of exciting um, and after that you go back to the field station for a couple more weeks and you do you study the finals and that kind of stuff and then you go home the people you're gonna meet lots of people in Costa Rica and you're gonna get to be friends with lots of people as well that includes the people in your program, your professors. You're going to get to know your professors very well. And that's going to be really cool and it's going to be really helpful. Um, you'll get to know um, Eladio, Cruz, Eladio Cruz. He's a uh, Costa Rica uh, naturalist rock star. Um, this is his property. This is his waterfall. 
and he's gracious enough to um, he was gracious enough to donate his land, his property, to the conservation effort. Um, and he still he takes students on field trips. That's the, the 15 kilometer hike to get to this dam. But uh, you get to know uh, farmers, locals, your professors, your friends, um, biologists, researchers. We have guest researchers and biologists who live in the area all the time. Um, Monteverde, where your field, where the field station is is kind of like a hub for um, biological research. And so there's a lot, there are a lot of ideas bouncing around the community, a lot of um, researchers you'll just bump into. Um, Daniel Jansen, um, are any of you biology, uh, sorry, EEMB majors? One, okay, that's good. Um, if you take tropical biology even, you might um, come across a couple articles by Dan Jansen. He's a big name in tropical biology, especially in, um, the neotropics. We bumped into him like three or four times. His name is published all over um, Nature and Biotropica um, journals and just run into him and shake his hand and see his wife. It's pretty neat. Um, yeah. And then work. As much fun as this program is, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You when you're dirty and muddy and tired and like that. Um, this, these are the mangroves uh, next, right next to the rainforest that we were kind of camping in. Um, yeah, we, <coughs> we get dirty, we get muddy, it's hot and sweaty on the field trips. Um, while they are field trips, the, the main point of them is to learn. You're always learning. You're always, uh, if you're not learning formally, you're learning um, you're just getting ideas from your professors, they're telling you things. Um, uh, the people I met on this trip, the other students, they're great resources as well. They're very intelligent people. Um, uh, there's a lot of work you do at the, at the field station. When, you get, when you're not on a camping trip or at a homestay, you pretty much go to class all day in the same room. Um, and then there's like another room we go to for Spanish. It's like a 30 minute walk down the hill. Um, they have like a little Spanish institute. Um, yeah, lots of work, but it's fun. And finally, you make best friends on this trip. 